Hi there. Welcome to this course on automation of campaign reports via APIs in Python. In this course, we will see how we can extract our campaign performance data from all platforms and convert it into amazing graphs and that too with just one click. Excited? So let's start. Before starting, we should see why we should take this course. Why is this activity required? What is the purpose of shifting our focus from digital marketing to automation? And for that, I want to highlight some of the major challenges faced by the digital marketing ecosystem these days. When I talk about the digital marketing ecosystem, majorly these two parties are involved. The first is the client, the one who hires a marketing agency or a freelancer to run digital marketing campaigns on his behalf. The second stakeholder is the agency or the freelancer who executes the marketing campaigns. Now both of these two parties face some challenges and this course is designed to address these pain points and provide a technology based solution to iron these out. Let's start with the challenges faced by the clients. For every digital marketer out there, addressing the needs of the client is the foremost responsibility since clients are the basis for the existence of the whole digital marketing chain. If the clients does not exist, the digital marketing domain will cease to exist. The first major challenge that the clients face is the shortage of time. And because of this, they outsource their digital marketing campaigns. They don't have time to look into dashboards of each and every channel and do an in-depth analysis. Secondly, even if they have time, they are not up to speed with the latest digital marketing trends and knowledge. They don't have a grasp on the metrics that should be used to judge the campaign performance. All they have is some half-baked knowledge that they acquire from learning on the internet. I mean, we all have been in situations where a client has questioned us why the conversion for the awareness campaign is so low. And then you reply, that because it is an awareness campaign, it is not right to judge it by looking at conversions. You need to look at impressions and reach in this case. I myself learned it the hard way when I lost a client due to a situation that developed very similar to this. But we can't really blame them. A client who is putting a lot of money in marketing will obviously expect a good ROI. It's our duty as digital marketers to educate the client and set the right expectations. We need to present a clear picture in front of him when we share the weekly campaign reports. Now let's talk about the grass on the other side. The challenges faced by the marketing agency or the freelancers. In short, the one who is executing the campaigns. The first challenge is the repetitive task of campaign reporting. If you do a survey and ask a digital marketing ex executive what is the most boring task in digital marketing, I am very sure that 99% will say is to create campaign reports. It is a mundane activity which has no value add. There is no learning involved. You just export data from the platform dashboard and create graphs, tables and attach it in a PPT. Meanwhile, praying to God that the client doesn't call on the weekend. And to top it all, there are some extremely demanding clients who expect a daily report from your side. My heart weeps for all such marketers who have to undergo this task that bores them to death. Okay, even if you keep the task being boring aside for a minute, we also need to analyze how much time is being wasted on this mundane task of campaign reporting. And that is our second challenge that majorly all agency owners in particular should take cognizance of. To give you a perspective, let me show you a calculation of the time being wasted on the campaign reporting activity in agencies. So on an average, one resource spends one hour per week per client on campaign reporting. And this is still the bare minimum time that I am talking about. Let's analyze this for a small marketing agency. A small agency at any time on an average has 15 active clients with 5 resources. 
calculating the cumulative weekly effort it comes out to a whooping 75 man hours per week which in turn amounts to 300 man hours per month 900 per quarter and 3600 man hours per year let's see what is the global hourly rate for digital marketing these days let me search the per hour rate for digital marketing globally on Google. So if I visit this website, Payscale, the average salary for a digital marketing specialist is $20 per hour. For a coordinator is $18 and for a manager is $20. Even if I take the bare minimum, let's say I take $10. This comes out to a whooping 36 grand per year. In terms of Indian rupees, it is almost 26 lakhs per year. So you see the amount of wastage in terms of time and money that is happening on this mundane activity of campaign reporting. Don't you think this time should rather be spent on campaign analysis on a granular level and optimizing the digital campaign? I'm sure those who have taken our previous course on Python for digital marketers must have realized by now how important this activity of granular analysis is. In the case of freelancers, this is altogether more important to understand since you work alone and time is of the essence. Let's move ahead and look at the third major challenge and that highlights the fact that not all clients deserve the same effort from your side. It is because of the Pareto principle. The Pareto principle holds true essentially in almost every field and digital marketing is not something that is an exclusion to this principle. This principle states that for any business or agency in our case, 80% of the revenue is generated by 20% of the clients. So not all clients have the same budgets and also not all clients have the same objectives. Some want purely leads, some want branding and some want conversions and hence not all clients have the same expectations. Do you really think that it makes sense to spend an equal amount of time on campaign reporting for an elite client versus a low budget client? It does not make business sense to do that. But the reporting process in most agencies is such that they are forced to spend the same amount of time on campaign reporting irrespective of the client. The general process followed universally is to copy the campaign performance metrics from ads dashboards and paste them to the PowerPoint or the Excel report to be shared with the client. In some agencies, this data is exported from the dashboard in CSV or Excel format and then graphs are made from this data. Moreover, since this is a manual process, it is bound to be error prone. We all have been in a situation before where while making the report, we selected the wrong dates in the dashboard only to realize it later and then sending apology mail to the client with the reworked report. So these were some major challenges that agencies or freelancers face and these have been the motivation behind designing this course. And now we will discuss how we intend to solve this problem. And that can only be done by automating all the campaign performance reports. Try to spend time on the mundane boring task yourself. Let the machines take over this task and you should spend your valuable time on doing more productive tasks that humans are designed to do. And that is idea generation. Spend your time on making campaign strategies or optimizing campaigns. Let's sum everything up and look at the benefits of automating the campaign reports. The first is obviously you get up to date accurate reports. We already discussed how human intervention might result in some error to creep in. The next is better time utilization. Yeah. I don't think this point needs any further discussion. Third point states no meddling from client. 
a very important point. Usually, a lot of clients, when they are not happy and convinced with the campaign performance, ask you to give access to the ads dashboard. And marketers obviously yield to this request. Once the client has dashboard access, half the battle is lost. They meddle with all your campaigns. Why are you running this campaign? Why are you targeting this set of audience? Why aren't you targeting the audience I told you to do? I feel marketing is always a hit and try and a good marketer is always the one who never stops experimenting and A-B testing. But with clients having dashboard access, our hands get tired, leaving very little scope for experimentation. The automated reports that we are gonna generate at the end of this course will be enough to satiate your client's hunger and he shall not ask for dashboard access. Next point is also connected to what we discussed right now. And that is, you can create custom reports depending on the client. You only reveal the metrics that are of interest to the client rather than giving him a full view of the dashboard and inviting unwanted queries from his side. Better client retention. Let me tell you why. The reports we are going to generate during the course will be updated every day. Hence, the client does not have to wait for the designated day like Friday or a Monday to expect a report from your side. You just need to share a link with him once and he can look at the reports at his leisure. The next point is of prime importance. As we all know that most domains are undergoing a paradigm shift wherein AI and predictive analytics are being integrated to all data that is being generated. Since digital marketing is also a data-driven domain, predictive analytics is the way to go. Whether you like it or not, but this is happening. Read about Facebook profit or how machine learning is being implemented by Google Ads. You must have experienced how Google keeps on poking you to shift your bidding strategy from manual to automated strategy like maximize clicks, target CPA, target ROS, maximize conversions and whatnot. And the basis of all machine learning and predictive analytics is to have a clean structured data set. In the course, the data that we will export using the API will be in a clean structured format. This makes you future ready and once you have sufficient data, you can start applying predictive analytics and machine learning algorithm to these data sets in-house. Uncover amazing insights from this data. A competitive advantage like this would certainly put your agency or brand on the pedestal. Imagine how your clients would feel if you will be able to predict everything and tell him well in advance. Will he ever leave you? I don't think so. Last but not the least, you get to learn a new skill from this course. You will learn and probably appreciate how data science can become a game changer and provide you an edge over competitors. I am quite sure by now you must be intrigued and want to know how we are going to implement everything. So without further ado, let me walk you through the process summary and show you the steps that we are going to take to automate the campaign reports. So we will be using Python to drive all our automation processes. We will be discussing more about Python in the next module, but for introduction's sake, you should know that Python is the most used tool these days for automation data science tasks like data cleaning, data visualization and data analysis. It is very very flexible and can be used for website designing and software development as well. If you check out the number one skill to acquire in 2020, it will be Python. And the best thing is it is open source and free for everyone to use. So the first step shall be to establish a source data connection. Since we will be exporting campaign data, we will first have to register for a developer account and create credentials. These credentials will be used to query data from the backend of the marketing channel whose data we intend to export. And this is just a one-time activity. You don't need to do it day in and day out. Once we have the credentials, we will extract data and do some preliminary data cleaning tasks in Python. These will all be automated and you don't need to do anything about this. But I will be explaining what is going on in the backend so that you have full clarity and can customize it according to your requirement. 
Once we have the clean data, the Python code will export the data automatically to Google Sheets. Again, this will be automated as well, but I will be explaining the code so that you can understand and appreciate how all data is being transferred automatically. And once we have the data in Google Sheets, half the battle is won. We will connect this Google Sheet to Google Data Studio, which will keep on automatically make the graphs and charts that you wanted to make. But yes, the first time you will need to design how the dashboard should look. I have included a sample Data Studio dashboard in the course, but you can anytime customize it according to your or your client's needs. And voila, that's it. Once set up, all this processor will keep on running automatically without any human intervention. Sounds unbelievable, right? But again, that's the charm of technology. Now, some of you might have already used Google Data Studio and must be thinking, why not use the Google Data Connectors? Why to use Python? The reason is that these connectors are not free. I agree, they are free for Google products like AdWords and Google Analytics, but what about Facebook? All connectors for Facebook are paid ones. The most used amongst them is Supermetrics. Let me show you the cost. So I am on the Supermetrics website. So it is $39 per month and for one user. You can calculate for yourself how much you will need to spend for multiple clients a month. And yeah, I know a lot of you might be thinking that this sounds too technical. I don't have any technical background, so I'm not sure this course is for me. I don't even know what Python is, but trust me, this is just a myth. I myself am not from any technical background. You don't need to be a techie to understand this. Everything is so logical and the code in Python is as simple as writing the English language. On the contrary, learning Python prepares you for the next five years of marketing automation revolution. Moreover, all the codes and everything is pre-written by us, so you don't need to invest time in writing the code again. Let's conclude the lesson by quickly discussing the learning outcomes of the course. On course completion, you shall be able to automate campaign reports, customize each report depending on the requirement of your client or the business case, make interactive graphs that can sum up gigabytes of data on one dashboard of Google Data Studio, take the first step towards integrating data science in your marketing which is very, very essential if you want to gain an edge over others. Last, but still the most important point, that is have some fun. Learn something different from what we as digital marketers do day in and day out. Quite psyched, right? So let's begin. See you in the next lesson.